of God Church Hall East of Pretoria and Gauteng Premier David Makura is on the podium. Let's go there live. I'm Cole. He says the following in tribute to the heroes of World War I. And I quote, Shall we ever forget when they took up their place in the trenches so muddy and so cold? When the bully and the biscuits was dinner and tea, and yet their spirits were brave and still bold. Shall we ever forget when the new arrived at home that a loved one has fallen out there in war? The sun seemed to set and the birds ceased to sing and the future loomed dark with despair. Shall we ever forget when peace was declared and the nation went mad in de delight? Yet for many it was still said, no homecoming for some of them. Still they joined in the shouts with their might. Shall we ever forget our glorious dead? who freely gave all they could give. No, in marble and in granite, still more in our hearts, we will praise them as long as we live. Close quote. So how, as we come together here today, can we forget the contribution of Comrade Moss Chikani? How can we forget his unfailing smile and his firm guiding hand, the hand of a mentor and a teacher who gave up so much so that our country can be free? How can we forget that many of those who are gathered here today, as has already been testified, were recruited into the struggle trained and developed into the leaders they became and are today because of Brahmos, lest we forget. How can we forget that Comrade Moss was the central pillar in organizing and building the structures of the mass movement amongst the youth, the students, the civic movement, and other people's organizations in this part of our country? in the 1970s and 1980s. How can we forget his role in the United Democratic Front and in the ANC PWV region? Lest we forget. As we come to Mami Lodi today to bid farewell to Brahmos, how can we forget the people of Mami Lodi for their bravery, for giving our struggle Solomon Masangu, stands up Pape, the Mamelodi 4 and the Mamelodi 10, and many more people who came out of this place, lest we forget. How do we forget that there are many cadres from this area, some of who never returned from exile? Lest we forget. How can we forget that there are millions of our people, even as we have achieved so much in the, the past 24 years, who are still languishing in unemployment and poverty, that many still wait for, for houses, those who can't build houses for themselves. Lest we forget that despite the progress we have made as a nation, there's still a long way to go to realize a country of our dreams, to realize a better life for all, a vision for which Brahmos lived up to this last moment. Lest we forget that we still have a long way to go to realize the dream of a better Africa and a better world, which is a vision Brahmos pursued as a diplomat in Germany and in Zambia. How do we forget that we are gathered in this place, in the city Brahmos decried that the ANC lost. How can we forget that we lost this city because of divisions in our ranks? 
and that this is the city currently as per the report of the quality of life survey of the Houghton City Region Observatory, not according to me, the, the worst performing metropolitan municipality. How can we forget that if you go around in Mamelodi, the situation is not looking okay. Mamelodi is not clean. How can we forget that the sort of things that are happening around us here require men and women like Brahmos. They require people who can pay attention to them. And the job must be done. And we must learn from our mistakes. We must clean up governance, particularly we who come from the, the ANC. When we are given an opportunity by our people to govern, we have to do so with integrity and urgency. Brahmos is one of those stalwarts who pointed to the things that were not going wrong, both in our own movement and in our state. So how do we honor him for lest we forget? I think we should honor him by supporting the call made by our president to rebuild and renew the public institutions of our country so that they can serve the people and rid our society of corruption. Let us remember Brahmos by ensuring that those of us who are in the ANC work hard to take the ANC back to the people, including here in Mamilodi. And let us remember that freedom was not free, for many sacrificed their lives. Let us, in addition to the many tasks that we have to undertake as we bid farewell to Brahmos, let us also say that this long road in Mamilodi called Samaya Road shall be renamed Mos Chikani Drive. <laughs> Let us also commit that the new human, mega human settlement develop, development in Nelmapias, just the east of Mamilodi, that mega human settlement is also going to be named Mos Chikani. <laughs> but is this enough? We need to do more. The greatest monument we can erect for Mos Chikani and all the Matayat sons and daughters of Mamilodi is to change the quality of life of the people of Mamilodi. Of, him, of whom he cared so deeply. So there are no amounts of monuments we can erect to make Brahmos happy than to pay attention to the living conditions of our people. This, this, the living and lasting monument we can ever erect for Brahmos and all the freedom fighters of Mami Lodi the grassroots activists and organizers who paid dearly with their lives here, youth and student leaders, is to go back to our communities and save our youth from Nyaupe, because Nyaupe is finishing our children. <laughs> is to get these young people to gain access to education, jobs and entrepreneurial opportunities. For it's only when they have skills and jobs that they will get out of drugs and crime. The greatest monument we can erect for Brahmos is to pay attention to the conditions of women and children, and particularly in this area, to conquer crime. For many women live in fear, for young women are killed. And I must say, as the Premier, without complaining, that the police are not doing enough. So we must honor Brahmos, those of us who are in government, by governing with agency and integrity. We must honor Brahmos by making sure that governance is not for our own selves and for our own families, but it is for the people that, that Brahmos cared for about. 
This way, if we do all these things, Brahmos will be smiling as we have always known him, as someone with an unfailing smile. If the ANCs return to the people, Brahmos will certainly be, be smiling. If we overcome corruption in our country, Brahmos will certainly be smiling. For Brahmos was a soldier, and soldiers do not die. They fade away. Robalaka hozo metapili. Raleboan.